Hey Knights! So, I'm doing another reading. Um, this is actually going to be a new one. Um, it's called a Why Me? Why the No Life King? Um, I have not really watched the series for it. Um, I probably watched like the very first episode and that's about as far as I've gotten. Um, there's this anime called Helsing. Or yeah, I think it's called Helsing. If not, please comment in the box in the next video for this book story on Wattpad. I will clarify what the name of the show's. Um, but it's basically where, uh, from what I've understand, it's like this vampire anime. Um, my best description for it, from what I've understood, it's kind of like Buffy, but... Buffy's a guy and is a vampire and is like the head honcho of all vampires known as Dracula but is in some sort of contract which makes me think of Black Butler so it's like a, ma a smash between Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Black Butler from what I've read because I've only seen one episode so I could be completely wrong but yeah I thought I'd try something new so yeah, it's called Why Me and Why the no, no Life King. Um, the description for it is, or goes as such, a young girl named Clara Fardella was a huge fan of Helsing Ultimate. That's the name of the show, Helsing Ultimate, there you go. <laughs> After being bullied constantly, she finally snaps. She decides to run away from every trouble, but only finds more. As she is running, she gets lost in the world of Helsing. She has to go through ghouls, a bossy woman in a suit, a young vampire with her own problems, Nazi vampires, and the no-life king himself. Will she survive the terror? Will she need to make a decision that could cost her sanity and trust of others? So yeah, that's the description. And there are... I think there's like 12 parts, or chapters? 14. I was close. Fourteen. Okay. So, chapter one. Why do I have to be the different one? I am Clara Fardella, but most people, but most call me Clara. All my life I have been bullied, tormented, taunted, teased, and much more. I have learned to shut them out and not to do anything about it. After all, we are all entitled to our own opinion. My mom would make a bigger deal out of it. I have never wanted to go to anyone. The only thing that comforts me would have to be Helsing Ultimate. I love it so much, especially Alucard. I think I'm pronouncing his name right. I'm not positive. Um, he always made me melt. I mean, he didn't care what you said, and even if he did, there would still be a bolt in your brain. He was my crush. I studied all of... <clears throat> I studied all the OVAs and until my eyes bled. Not literally, but you get the idea. I always wondered if I would last a day in that world. The odds were against me. I am a stupid, ugly whore who should just die in the eyes of my classmates. They always pick on me, but I only ignore it the best I can. The only friend I, ha I have ever had was Kat. She knows that I would only tell the truth to her. Today is Monday, which means another week of embarrassment. I might as well get it over with. I got dressed and did my hair. My sister did the same thing. Her name is, Su is Susan Fardella. She goes to another school, though. I'm four years and a half a year older than her. She's in the third grade, and I'm in the eighth grade. We look nothing alike. My mom drove us to school. She ran into hers while I walked into mine. Classes went by fast, and school ended. Strangely, there was barely any humiliation. That was great. I decided to go to the store before my mom picked me up. As I was walking, two of my favorite, not really, uh, bullies grabbed my hair. They pulled me into an alley and beat me up. I walked away and went to my mom. She suspected that I got beat up, but I said I fell. She listened to me and didn't badger, badger me. I'm assuming that means it doesn't bug me. She isn't, a, she isn't a bad mom, but she works literally day and night. I went home and got onto my phone. Most of my text messages were death, threat, death threats. I never wanted to kill myself or anything like that. This time was different. I grabbed my phone, Kendall, 
uh, Kindle, tablet, books in my backpack. Back, backpack. Backpack. Yep. Backpack. And now I've got freaking Doris song stuck in my head. Great. And my backpack and left to go, left out my bedroom window. I did leave a note. I knew I might die on my own, but I am a disgrace anyways. I ran for what seemed like an hour, then stopped. I realized that I didn't notice anything around me. Where the hell am I? I know this isn't right. I would have passed a highway, but I never did. I am lost, I said worried. I decided to keep walking. Soon, I stopped by a newspaper stand. I read it for a bit and realized that I was in London. That is physically impossible. I decided to take a, I decided to walk a bit more just to see where I can stay for the night. Then I heard someone following me. That was totally horrifying. Is anyone there? I stated while slowly turning around. Someone stepped out of the dark at a close, at a closer look. He was tall with black hair and red glowing eyes. In the blink of an eye, he was face to face with me and said, "For a young girl, you really do smell nice." He grabbed me from behind and licked my neck. I wanted to scream, but I just couldn't. Is this the end of me? Goodbye, Mom and everyone. I'm sorry for being a disappointment. Chapter 2 The Man in Red and My Hero Is this the end of me? Goodbye, Mom and everyone. I'm sorry for being a disappointment. These were the thoughts that ran through my head, but I saw something red in the corner of my eye and pictured Alicard with his guns. I realized that it was similar to his red blazer. They don't make vampires like they used to, a familiar voice said. I knew that voice. It couldn't be. Could it? I slowly turned my head, as much as I could, and saw him. He looked so real, and I knew that it was now or never. I had to fight. One day, I will die, but not now. I stepped on the man's foot, releasing me from his grasp, and started beating him up. He finally collapsed. I ran towards the man in red who immediately shot him as he fell to the ground. Yeah? Yeah? I was so lost in my own thoughts that I didn't even hear their conversation. He just laughed at me, which annoyed me more. I turned to see a pile of ash where the man once fell. Was he a vampire? If Alucard Helsing is here, then I am in this in the episodes. I have to keep all my knowledge to myself, or I might die. I'm already having a heart attack, just being next to Alicard. Young girl, you seem to not be terrified of me. Why is that? He said, amused. I'm Claire Fardell, sir. I'm not afraid of you, because you would have killed me. Plus, I find you interesting, sir, I said calmly. Interesting was one way of saying how I feel. We will have to talk later, because I have to bring you to my master, he said while laughing. I got used to it. He walked me over to Sir Inte uh, Integra Wingate Fairbrooks Helsing. That is the longest name ever. This is crazy. I really am here. Alucard, who is this young girl? What did you do? She said sternly, which made me step back. He stared at me like he wants me to say something. Here goes nothing. I stepped forward and said, My name is Clara Fidel and I am 13 years old. He did nothing to me, miss. I did most of the damage to that monstrosity that had help, had a hold of me. He just shot it after I beat it nearly to death. I am sorry. I didn't know what to say exactly. Looks like I am surviving this world. Integra seemed to be shocked at what I said. I am going to die, and no one will know. You are strangely nice and calm after all of that. Are you sure you are fine? Well, I suppose some people... Some things differently. My name is Sir Integra Wingate Fairbrooks Housing of the Housing Organization. You fight bloodthirsty vampires who have the misfortune of meeting the Housing org Organization. You fight under the Queen herself. I stopped, realizing what I just did. They all stared at me like I had two heads. Way to go, Claire. I am literally digging my own grave. I have to try to fix this. If not, go. To, to, if not, go to the truth and try not to die. I found out from rumors, but I thought they were lying. I am guessing that you might want to dispose of me, but I can train and fight and I have nowhere else to go. I am a runaway, I said so fast my mind needed to think about it. 
Their stairs died down. Did I just solve the problem or make it worse? Well, you will be watched by Alicard, seeing as how he found you. I expect progress and no slacking off. You can stay with me in Alicard, but if I may... Why is it you have nowhere to go? She said sternly. I had no choice but to say. I ran away, and now I am here. They won't report me missing, I say, looking down. That is less work for me, but surely you have someone to, to care for you, she said. I don't have anyone but myself. You could say that I am destined to be alone, I said silently, but feeling dizzy. Sir and Tigara, she is bleeding from her neck, but and it isn't stopping, Alicard said, but it was too late. The world around me turned black. I felt so weird. It wasn't bad, but nostalgic. What is happening to me? Chapter 3. My Bloody Nightmare What is happening to me? I want to live. I want to die in an old age with the one I love. At least, I would like to die at an older life. Suddenly, I heard someone's voice say, Please wake up. You are not meant to die yet. I have to live. I suddenly felt a jolt of electricity shoot through me. That's when I opened my eyes. The first thing I saw was the ceiling. I looked away so I didn't blind myself. I saw Alicard and, and Integra. I seriously don't know if I'm saying her name right or not. I was in a hospital. This is just the highlight of my life. Wait, before I blacked out, didn't our Alicard say I was bleeding from my neck? Which probably means I'm a vampire. I think. I should be quiet. Right now. The vampire you encountered had bit down quite hard. You are not another vampire, so you should calm down. You almost died, though. You should be careful, especially because you might be a bit sore, Alicar said in his usual tone. Thank you, but I can manage. What happened to my stuff, if I may ask? I said, not trying to freak out. Your stuff is in your room, and it was never touched. You are very lucky just to be talking. We de did some research on you, and there is nothing. Are you sure you were telling the truth, she said, angry. That is explainable, but it is a long story. I will summarize it for you as best that I can. I'm Clara Fardell, but I am from another world. A world where you are all characterized in episodes for everyone to watch. They show everything about you, I explain. They were looking at me sternly. They wouldn't believe me, even if I explained it 1,000 times. Then Arakod said, If you are who you say you are, then tell me what you know about me from the beginning, he asked of it. Your original name is Vlad Tatbez III, also known as Vlad the Impaler. You used to be a slave and were often abused. Later in life, you were known as Dracula. You were defeated by the Helsings and were named and was named Alicard Helsing, I said in a calm tone. He looked at, it, looked at me as if I'd read his mind. I never told you my name, and you got all of that correct. You speak the truth. I would like to let you know you are one of the select few who aren't scared of me. You actually intrigue me. How interesting you are, he, s he said laughing. I'm interesting to a 500-year-old fi Romanian. I can't wait for tomorrow. Uh, what is this, chapter 4? One, two, three, four. Yeah, chapter 4, and then it will be the last chapter for this video. My first day at the loony bin, chapter 4. I was just charged from the hospital a few days later. The first look at Helsing nearly blew my mind. My room was one floor above alley cards. My stuff was all there. My phone even had a full battery. I am glad I brought uh, that charger, too. This is the dream of millions of Helsing fans. I'm going to finally meet the Helsing organization in person. Clara, you do realize the position you are currently in? Integra asked. I looked at her for a second and then nodded. I knew what Alicard would act like to annoy me. I knew anywhere was better than my world. I will be stronger. I will be an accomplished vampire hunter and train as hard as humanly possibly. I was settled in and unpacking my stuff when Alicard morphed through the wall. He nearly gave me a heart attack. Heart attack. This is going to be hard, but this won't stop me. You might not be from this world, but that doesn't interest me. I would like to see what you truly are like before training. Is that okay? He said. Fine. I guess it is all right. What is your favorite things to do? It would be watching Helsing, but it is art or music, sometimes reading. What do you read? Anything, but mostly on Vlad the Impaler. I'm not kidding. Favorite colors, food, snack, and character in the, else, the episodes of Helsing. Red and black, I like any food, strawberry shortcake, 
And you, I said, trying to get over the question. I know I didn't like him in that way. He seemed shocked on how easily I answered the questions. If I am your favorite character, why is it you don't fawn over me like most girls or run away from being petrified? He said with a sadistic smile. That was a good question, but it was easy to answer. Isn't it obvious? I don't fan over you because I don't like you in that way, and I am and I am afraid of you. I would never fight you, but I choose to use my fear to drive me to a better goal. I can't keep running from my problems, I said while being shocked at the same time. I am never going to live this down. What will he say to my answer? Okay, so that was the first four chapters of that, and I will try to post a few more chapters tomorrow. Or, if I get the chance, yeah. Um. Yeah. Alrighty. Peace out, knights.